A stone is thrown straight up from the edge of a roof, 750 feet above the ground, at a speed of 18 feet per second. Number one, how high is the stone three seconds later? Two, at what time does the stone hit the ground? And three, what is the velocity of the stone when it hits the ground? Let's begin with the given information. We will let s of t be the position or height function, v of t be the velocity function, and a of t be the acceleration function. Because the stone is thrown straight up from the edge of a roof 750 feet above the ground, the initial height or initial position equals 750 feet, so s of zero equals 750 feet, at a speed of 18 feet per second. This indicates the initial velocity is 18 feet per second, which indicates v of zero equals 18 feet per second. And finally, the only acceleration in this problem is due to gravity, and therefore a of t, the acceleration function, equals the constant negative 32 feet per second squared. To answer number one, we need to determine the position function s of t. To do this, we will first integrate the acceleration function because the acceleration function is equal to the derivative of the velocity function. If we integrate the acceleration function, we can recover the velocity function. And then once we determine the velocity function, because the velocity function equals the derivative of the position function, if we integrate the velocity function, we can recover the position function. But to begin, we will say that v of t equals the integral of a of t dt, which in our case is the integral of negative 32 dt, which equals negative 32t plus c. So now we know the velocity function equals negative 32t plus c, but because we know the initial velocity v of zero is equal to 18, when the time is zero, the velocity must equal 18, which indicates the constant c is equal to 18. So now we know that the velocity function equals negative 32t plus 18. Now that we have the velocity function, we can now integrate the velocity function to recover the position function or height function. More specifically, s of t equals the integral of v of t dt, which equals the integral of negative 32t plus 18 dt, which equals negative 32 times t squared divided by two plus 18t plus c. But again, we know that the initial height is 750 feet, so if f of zero equals 750, meaning when t is zero, the height must be 750, we now know the constant c equals 750. The position function s of t equals, simplifying, negative 16t squared plus 18t plus 750. Okay, so now we can finally answer question number one. How high is a stone three seconds later? To answer this question, we determine s of three, which equals negative 16 times the square of three plus 18 times three plus 750, which equals 660 feet. The stone is 660 feet high after three seconds. Number two, at what time does the stone hit the ground? The stone hits the ground when the height is zero or when s of t is equal to zero. So for number two, we need to determine the value of t when s of t equals zero, which indicates we need to solve the equation zero equals negative 16t squared plus 18t plus 750. So again, let's factor out the common factor of two. Let's actually factor out negative two, which gives us negative two times eight t squared minus nine t minus 375. And now we'll solve the equation using the quadratic formula, where a equals eight, 
b equals negative 9, and c equals negative 375, which gives us x equals negative b is negative negative 9 or positive 9, plus or minus the square root of the square of b, which is the square of negative 9, minus 4 times a, which is 8, times c, which is negative 375, and all this is divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times 8. To save some time, I will now go to the calculator. Notice the first expression is with the addition sign. The second expression is with the minus sign. We have approximately 7.432 and approximately negative 6.307. And this should not be x equals, this should be t equals. So again, we have t is approximately 7.432 or negative 6.307. But of course, this is time, and therefore, we only use the positive value of t, or approximately 7.432. The stone hits the ground after approximately 7.432 seconds. Finally, for number three, what is the velocity of the stone when it hits the ground? To answer this question, we need to determine V of 7.432. And our velocity function, remember, is negative 32t plus 18, which indicates v of 7.432 is equal to negative 32 times 7.432 plus 18, which equals negative 219.824. And because this is velocity, the units are feet per second. The velocity of the stone is approximately negative 219.824 feet per second when the stone hits the ground. Notice the velocity is negative here because, of course, the stone is traveling downward when it hits the ground. I hope you found this helpful.